And then the final kinetic energy is equal to half times the total mass times V final squared. Okay? Half times the total mass times V final squared. And then V final is equal to this thing, that the formula that we derived, squared, right? So square that thing, you get what? M1 V1 plus M2 V2 over M1 plus M2 quantity squared. And you're going to end up with uh, uh, half times uh, this one. We could, uh, you know what? We can just um, leave it like this for now. This is a general equation, you know. You end up with uh, that uh, half m1 v1 plus m2 v2 squared, quantity squared, divided by m1 plus m2. Now, it can be shown that this is less than that, OK? Mathematically, uh, this one is less than the half m1 v1 squared plus half m2 v2 squared, OK? And to get the percent loss of kinetic energy, you get the kinetic initial total minus kinetic final total, um, kinetic final, divided by kinetic initial total times 100%. So you subtract them and uh, divide by the initial. What happens in these kinds of cases is the kinetic energy of the system, the initial system has some kind of kinetic energy, right? When they hit and uh, collide, they get stuck, the kinetic energy is lost. Now, it can't just disappear. It's got to change to some other form, right? What other form does the kinetic energy change to? Heat, in this case. It could change to heat. Sound, when they collide, it could change to sound wave, right? And another thing, kind of energy is the energy of the bond that is connecting them, the energy of the bonding, the molecules and everything like that. That's a, that's a kind of potential energy, right? Because when you, when you let go of that bond, it can change into kinetic energy back again. So that kinetic energy is lost to the potential energy of their bi binding molecules, okay? So that, those are all the different kinds of things, like sound wave, heat, sound, and bond. Those are the three major ones we said. Okay, so that's where the kinetic energy is lost. So those are called perfectly inelastic collisions. Then you have perfectly elastic collision. Perfectly elastic collision is where they collide and there is no loss of energy at all, which is kind of hard in the real world, but um, there's no loss of energy to heat, there's no loss of energy to sound, there's no loss of energy to anything. Very minimal, okay? So a perfectly elastic collision would mean that the uh, momentum initial total would equal momentum final total and kinetic initial total, what do you call kinetic final total? So what would happen is you have uh, M1, V1. And then it goes and hits M2, V2. OK? And then they bounce off of each other. And uh, they're left with uh, M1, V1 final, M2, V2 final. And it's possible that this one will even bounce backward uh, after it hits the second object. Uh, it usually, that happens when this one is less massive than that one. It's likely that it's going to bounce back. Um, so to get the 
initial momentum and the final, you say m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m1 v1 final plus m2 v2 final. Okay? And then for the kinetic energy, you basically add up their kinetic energies. Half m1 v1 squared plus half m2 v2 squared is equal to half m1 v1 final squared plus half m2 v2 final squared. So in this case, the total kinetic energy of the system before the collision equals to the total kinetic energy of the system after the collision.